they're off for the Betfair chase and Bristol de May jumps off in front from his stable mate Ballyoptic on the near side Frode on tracks them at the first of the 19 schedule fences and lost in translation held up last of the quartet Robbie Power in the yellow silks so they've got two circuits of the chase course ahead of them the long run now to the first over on the far side and Bristol de May has his grey head in front into the paddock turn to Ballyoptic, Frode on close up on that one's inner and lost in translation, doesn't really want any part of the early gallop and is restrained three or four lengths off his uh, three rivals. Continue on this lengthy gallop to the first of the line of five fences taken across in the Haydock back straight, Bristol de May, with Ballyoptic right on his tail and Frode on within a half length and a small break to lost in translation. A gentle descent will take them into the wings of the second. Bristol de May jumping prodigiously, really wing that. Just half lengthing belly optic, Frodon on the near side racing with his customary enthusiasm and then lost in translation. On to the third they go. Bristol de May, Frodon jumping into second there past belly optic, lost in translation continues at the back of the field, held up in these still very, very early stages, They're only approaching fence four. Completed just over half a mile, Ballyoptic a little more cautious than his three rivals there, behind Bristol de May and Frodon. Another plain fence before the first of the ditches. Bristol de May pricks his ears, sees a stride, and again jumps really well, soars out over it. The other three jumping soundly in behind, Frodon slipstreaming Bristol de May. Bally optic wider out and then lost in translation. Over the ditch they go. All neat enough there. So that's the jumping in the back straight done for the first time. Into the next bend. Bristol de May and Daryl Jacob. Leading Frodon by a couple lengths. Frodon the 11 time chase winner. Their winners between them of 26 of their 66 starts over fences. Very much in form Bally optic. The hat trick seeker in third and lost in translation, still looking on from last place as they enter the final two miles and now close in on fence seven. Now Bristol de May in front from the moment started Seamus O'Neill dropped the flag. Gain jumps really well, but matched by the other three, lost in translation, giving it plenty of daylight in fourth place. Another open ditch now. Bristol de May. From Frodon, Ballyoptic on the left, and lost in translation. Halfway up the straight and heading towards the end of a circuit. So Bristol de May just lobbing along in front. Brani Frost seemingly quite happy to take a lead on Frodon. Ballyoptic hops over in third, just ahead of lost in translation. He lobs along in last place. So now on to fence 10, about to pass through the halfway point of the Betfair chase. Bristol de May from Frodon, Bally Optic and Lost in Translation. And no major alarms so far. They've got one more circuit to cover and a further nine fences to jump. In the 15th running of this grade one prize, Bristol de May defending his unbeaten Merseyside record. Leading Frodon and Bally Optic closing up, and you sense that Jacob is just getting a breather into Bristol de May as they swing away towards the back straight once more. Power, meanwhile, sits very quietly and very patiently in fourth place aboard Lost in Translation. So, once again, I'll freewheel on the descent to the first of the fences down the back. The 11th of the 19 coming up to them. Bristol de May with his stablemate Bally Optic racing on the far side of Frodon and lost in translation right behind them in third. Bristol de May set alight, jumped that really well. Bally Optic not quite as quick through the air as Frodon, but they race side by side, lost in translation only a couple of lengths away, heading towards fence 12. Bristol de May just had to put himself right there, he's just a little awkward. There was a good jump from lost in translation, jumping almost up in behind them. Going towards the middle one in the back straight. Bristol de May with a mile to travel in the Betfair chase. He was a little quicker than Frode on there. That was a much more assured leap once again from Bristol de May. Bally Optic is still right there on the far side and lost in translation. Yet to be popped the question. And they're going to six out.
Bristol to May, big and bold. From Frodon waiting in the wings, white cap for Bryony Frost. Bally Optic and Sam Twist and Davis on the outer and then lost in translation and here's an open ditch. Bristol to May. It's just anything over bold, pitched slightly on landing, but quickly back on an even keel. And into the far corner they go with three quarters of a mile to travel and the final four fences to jump in the straight. Jacob glancing in behind. He looks left and he looks right aboard Bristol to May. Bally Optic is the first one to be squeezed along. Frost now just beginning to hunt away on Frodon. Uh, nursing a regular partner along, still holding second, lost in translation. Yellow Jacket now beginning to make his headway on the far side, entering the last half mile. Bristol to May, Frodon ridden along, lost in translation, waiting to pounce. Ballyoptic outpaced Bristol to May, a soaring leap out over the fourth last. He led by a couple of lengths, lost in translation though now, beginning to hunt him down. Frodon is hanging on in there in third, and here's the open ditch. They're three from home in the Betfair chase. Bristol to May lost in translation on the right come there, travelling strongly. Jacob now shakes up the grey for the first time. Frodon back in third, and then Bally Optic. The second last coming up, Bristol de May. Lost in translation, a half length down, part of the birch, ridden for the first time. Bristol de May galloping on strongly on the near side. The final fence in the Betfair chase coming up. Bristol de May, and lost in translation, could go either way. In the air together, come away from it together. Lost in translation, Translation with momentum. Bristol to May fighting on tenaciously, but it's lost in translation in front, halfway up the run in. Try as he might, Bristol to May can't get back to him. Super powered, lost in translation, wins the bet fair chase. Bristol to May went down fighting in second, Frodon in third, and then Bally Optic.